what's up it's your girl tv and you know we had to do it we're back with another one who are we talking about today today we're talking about the suns and the timberwolves and the lakers and the pelicans yes the best of the west a lot of exciting games last night for everybody's last game of the regular season so let's just talk about it give y'all what a recap showdown rundown you know how we get down I know I have been in my A for a minute, but I am back to give you guys the review of last, the last game of the NBA um, regular season. So let's just dive into it. And let's just say the West last night was stacked. It was so many great games. You had OKC playing Dallas. You had, of course, the Lakers and the Pelicans. You had um, Timberwolves with the Suns. You had the um, Nuggets. They played the Grizzlies, so they had a they had an easy uh, matchup. But for the most part, everybody had so many exciting games last night. And let's just talk about the Suns and the Timberwolves. And that's the Suns taking it 125 to 106, getting them that play-in spot, the number six seed, and that's how they finished the regular season. So it's like big us to y'all because y'all know it was between the Pelicans and the Suns taking that sixth spot. And it was like the Suns said they wanted it. They played their heart out, heart out last night, and they did an amazing job. And that was just them finishing. So let's just give y'all a recap of the game. I feel like the Suns brought the energy from beginning to the end. Even just like going into the first quarter or ending the first quarter, it was 44 to 22. Like they were up 22 points in the first quarter and this is all being done in Minnesota and I just feel like Minnesota did not have a chance yesterday I just feel like the Suns was like they knew what they were up against and then Minnesota I feel like they knew that they knew what they were up against but I feel like since they already knew that they have made it to the playoffs I don't think they gave it like a hundred percent because they could have been they could have finished being the number one seed for the western conference but then it's like y'all end up finishing being the number three because y'all know denver okc minnesota they all had the same record so they was all like playing so it was like if minnesota loses or if okc loses then denver takes the top seed but it's like okc end up finishing the number one then you had denver number two and then of course minnesota with number three I, the West, like, it just kept fluctuating with everybody. So it's like, I love to watch it. I love to see it. And let's just, like, give y'all a rundown. Like I said, Minnesota, I just feel like they already knew that they were going to the playoffs. So it just showed last night of how they even played. And I feel like the Suns had something to prove. They, they actually did have something to lose. So they did a great job so let's just talk about bradley bill he's been showing out this past week not even just yesterday game but like the previous games earlier this week like he's just been hot and it's like okay this is the bradley bill that we know this is who we like to see but anyways he ended up finishing this man he had 36 points last night he also had six rebounds and the good thing about it is he hit all six of his threes last night and it was kind of cute it was like him and um Anthony Edwards, they got into it last night. It wasn't really much of nothing, just like a lot of shoving. But it was like by the time halftime came, they was back laughing at each other. So it was like it was all fun, you know, kicks and giggles. But Bradley Bill, he has been balling. He's been putting on for the Suns. I feel like he's really been stepping up lately, even as far as like, you know, how he's just been missing a lot of the season in the beginning. And it's like now, like he ended strong and he's just showing like, hey, this is what's happening. I'm here to stay. And it looked really great last night. And the next person I want to talk about, that's going to be Devin Booker. He had 23 points last night. And then he also had seven assists as well. So it's like, big up to y'all. Those were the two leaders of the team doing an amazing job. And like I said, they they pretty much had the lead the entire game. I feel like um, the Timberwolves, they got it down to like single digits, but it still was not enough to get the lead. Like, it just... It was no coming back. Uh, so now we're just going to head it over and talk about the Timberwolves and the leaders of their team. And that's going to be Gobert. He had 21 points last night, and then he had seven rebounds. So it was like, big us to you, it just wasn't enough. But it's like, 
Y'all get to face each other in the playoffs now, the first round. So it's like, who's going to take it? It's anybody game. But it's like the way the Suns been playing against the Tim Timberwolves, it's like they've won all their matchups in regular season. So it's like now it's just time to win all the match matchups in this one. I don't know. I don't know how this is about to go, but I feel like this is going to be a really great series for the playoffs. And then the next person I want to talk about, and that's going to be Mike Conley. He had 17 points last night and four rebounds. It was like a lot of the starters on the Timberwolves was quiet. Ant, quiet. Carl, quiet. Like, and I know, like, in the beginning of the game, it was, like, Kyle Anderson, he was trying to, like, you know, get his team to, like, just calm down and, like, we got to con take control. And it just, like, it didn't happen. It did not happen whatsoever. And it was just, like, that was pretty much the gist of the game. I feel like the Suns, they had, like, a field day when it came to playing Minnesota last night. And that's just what it was, 125 to 106. And, y'all, that's really all I have for this game. It was just really a crucial game for the Suns. And they knew they had to win because it was like if they would have lost, they would have been in the play-in for the number, number seven spot. And then um, the Pelicans would have went up to the sixth seed. But the Pelicans lost, Suns won, so we're going to head it over and we're going to talk about the Lakers. And that's the Lakers taking it 124 to 108. LeBron having a triple-double last night, playing an amazing job. I keep telling y'all, this man ages like fine wine. Like, it just doesn't get old. He just keeps getting great, like, every single game. But he ended up finishing. He had 28 points, 11 rebounds, and then he had seven team assist and what he pretty much was saying was like he was just watching the court watching the game finding his teammates dishing the ball to them and that's just what happened like it worked for them they led all three quarters up until the fourth quarter um and that's when the pelicans outscored the lakers last night but it was like everybody all of the starters on the lakers last night did an amazing job so it was like big us to y'all doing y'all big one i love to see that and it's just like Wow, like okay, the Lakers is really coming together. Even though, even though they didn't like make the playoff spot just yet, they got to play in. But I feel like they did a great job. And now it's like they're gonna have another rematch between the Pelicans and the Lakers once again. You got AD playing his old team from way back when. Um, and it's just giving you like a deja vu type of moment right here. But it's like, you know, we're going to see what happened on Tuesday, Happen what happens tomorrow, actually, uh, with who's going to win. Because it's just like it's anybody's game. And then that's what I want to talk about next. And that's going to be AD. He ended up finishing. He had a double-double, 30 points, 11 rebounds last night. So it's like big up to you. Um, Putting his defense, y'all know he's been, like, stepping up with the defense lately. So, it's like, I like that for him. I like that for the Lakers. And it's just like, man, when it comes to the West, I just don't know, like, who's going to get, like, the final spot. Like, it's so many turns, so many changes, so, so much of everything. So, it's like, dang, like, whoa. And then we're just going to head it over, talk about New Orleans, and that's going to be CJ he went off. He had 25 points last night, and then he had seven assists. Obviously, it wasn't enough for them to win. And I thought they were going to win because it's like, okay, we playing in New Orleans. We got our fans here riled up, all the above. And it's like, it just didn't, it just wasn't there. Like, I don't know, um, like, voting under pressure or something like that. I don't, know. I don't know what it was, but they did not get the win. And then the person I thought that was going to go off, step up to the plate, and that's going to be Zion. He had 12 points last night, eight rebounds. Eight assists, and LeBron was putting that D on him. He felt like Zion felt as though he was playing passive. So it's like if you already called it out, nobody else have to do it because you knew how you played. And it was just like he should have been able to get like more open shots. Uh, it just, I just felt like he should have been the leader of the team last night, and he wasn't. And it's like y'all really have to step up on Tuesday to show and prove that. Y'all want to be in the playoffs. It's like, that's just what it is. Like, y'all have to prove this. Um, so, y'all, it's anybody game. It's like, you got the Suns. No, you have, who do you have? You have the Kings, the Lakers, the Pelicans, the Warriors. All of them are in the play in. The play in. So, on the West. So, it's just like so many great players and it's like dang who's gonna take it i don't know but y'all that's really all i had it was so many good games last night and that's all i had y'all already know what i'm about to say i need y'all to be productive i was productive i'm actually having a great day today um 
So I want y'all to do the same. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so y'all could be alerted when I post when I post once again. I'm TB. Peace out. Bye.